When the Irish Rovers decide to say goodbye, it takes an extensive tour to do so. We made a living playing all of these places all of those years, and it's the very least we can do is say goodbye to them the proper way, and that's by doing another show. And we've already said goodbye to New Zealand, we've, uh, we've done parts of the States, and now this is our Western Canada goodbye. So, like Cher, we'll be doing this for about three more years, these farewell tours. While this is a farewell tour, the band is not going away completely. We're still going to be doing a CD now and again, and we're going to be doing some of the folk festivals, and we'll, we'll do special events. We're just going to get off the day-to-day -day touring. This final tour is in support of the group's latest release, 50 Years, a massive 73-track collection of favorites, reworked songs, and new material. We've done a cross-section of, we got some of the early tracks, we bought them back of MCA Records, who owned them, with Jimmy and all on and my brother Will on them. So we've got uh, half a dozen of those tracks. We've actually added to a couple of them. We, we took our original Black Velvet band when I was 18 years old and we've just re-recorded a new version and we've melded them together. So you hear my voice, the first two verses are all those years ago and now you get this voice now and it's usually you have to be dead before they can do things like this. So we're really happy that it turned out well and there's some children's songs on there because people are always asking us for children's songs. We've, done, we've redone some of those and the whole last CD is all new songs that we've either written or discovered somewhere along the way. The album's cover is a unique tribute to the Rover's past by artist Hamish Burgess. He's a great Celtic artist and he depicted our story on the cover and there's all sorts of different references and uh, I didn't know half them either. You have to go to his or our webpage and it'll tell you the little, uh, all the little secrets of it. But it's, it's a great cover and it's all Celtic art and it's all authentic uh, from the Book of Kells. That's the way he does it and uh, turned out great. Reflecting on the past half century, Miller says when the band first formed, he would have never imagined a career like this and is still touched every time someone is moved by their music. That's the type of thing that keeps you going. You say, that's great that we can help somebody. It doesn't matter if you help one person out of millions, you've still helped somebody. Go Kootenays in Cranbrook, I'm Blaine Evans.